Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining the Litchfield Special Risks Hospitality and Liquor Lines product training, which will also include the new preferred restaurant um, product that USLI came out with for Texas. And our presenter today will be Joey Scullis. He's the, one of the main underwriters for the hospitality and liquor products at USLI. Joey, welcome and thank you for being with us this morning. Uh, thank you so much for having me, Danielle. I appreciate everything that you guys do, and uh, I look forward to uh, to continue working with you guys. Um, so without further ado, thank you for the introduction, and we can kind of dive into our products. So um, as Danielle stated, my name is Joey Scalas, and I am a underwriter on our hospitality and liquor lines team here at USLI. And I want to talk to you guys today about a brand new product that we had just launched in Texas pretty recently called Preferred Restaurant. And it is basically just an enhancement of our current restaurant offerings. Um, so we'll, we'll go ahead and start working through uh, some of the slides here. So <clears throat> just in general, USLI is a comprehensive insurance solution for all of your hospitality needs. So we're going to focus on the preferred restaurant product, which is basically a specified version of our restaurant product already. Um, but think of us and, and Litchfield for all of your hospitality needs. We can think of um, pretty much anything that has the exposure to the sailor service of food or alcohol. You can think of Litchfield and, and USLI for. Um, so we can cover the liquor liability, the general liability, the property, which can include the business income and the extra expense, along with the equipment breakdown, which will include spoilage coverage. Uh, the utility service coverages, including the power outage, crime, excess general liability, and special event coverage as well. So some of the hospitality products we can offer are restaurants, bars, your fast foods, banquet halls, your off-premises exposures like your catering and bartending services, the retail exposures such as your convenience deli, grocery, and liquor stores, and a ton more. So your breweries, your billiard halls, bowling alleys, Pretty much, like I said, anything that has the exposure to the sale or service of food or alcohol is typically something we can consider. So our agenda for today for a preferred restaurant uh, will include things like your target market, your quoting options, some of the eligibility and coverage features of the product, the value added services, and some marketing ideas as well. So <clears throat> for our preferred restaurant eligibility, um, there are four criteria that would have to meet to fit within our preferred restaurant product. If it doesn't meet this eligibility criteria, it will typically still be eligible for our standard restaurant product. But the preferred restaurant will give it some preferred type pricing. Um, so the four criteria are 50% or less in alcohol sales, annual receipts of $250,000 or more. The applicant has been in business uh, for two years and we've actually change that up a little bit. It's actually, we're looking for two years of experience in Texas, not two years in business, and then no major entertainment. So from our standpoint, what major entertainment is, is a band with three or more members or a DJ with, DJ with dancing. And the band of three or more members uh, does not include uh, a jazz band or a mariachi band or anything like that. Um, so, and even if it was just a piano player, an acoustic duo, not a big deal at all. Some additional highlights for it from the property standpoint, we have uh, increased our total insured value that we can consider up to 3 million on our standard restaurant product is 1.5 million. We have our value plus product, which is a property enhancement coverage, which is added to it at no additional charge. And we can include theft coverage at no additional charge. Hey, Joey. Yes. What is the value plus? What does it add? So there are a ton of features that uh, are included with the value plus. Um, uh, so it's going to include, um, I can pull up all the different features of it, um, but it's going to include things like account receivables coverage, um, some of the, um, some crime, like some limited crime coverage. Um, I can, uh, I can forward over, some of the uh, specific coverages to you if you want, so that way you can distribute it out. Um, I can touch on them now. Uh, just let me, I can pull up the list of, of all of them. I just don't want to miss anything that, uh, so let me, um, so it's going to include your fire department service charge up to $2,500, electronic data up to 25,000, 
uh, personal effects and property of others, and that's just up to the BPP limit. Your valuable papers and records cost of research up to twenty-five thousand. Uh, property off-premises up to fifteen thousand. Signs and outdoor property up to ten thousand. Fire extinguishing system um, and arson reward for up to five uh, thousand. Uh, your account receivables for twenty-five thousand. Fine arts up to twenty-five thousand. Employee dishonesty up to five thousand. Money and securities up to five thousand. Uh, water back up at the sewer drain or sump for 5000 and property and transit up to 10000 So basically, so, really worth it. <laughs> I'm sorry? I said, so basically, really worth it. Yes, it's 100% it's worth it. And we include the, all of these coverages and no additional charge with the preferred restaurant. So mm -hmm. if it doesn't fit within preferred restaurant, the cost of the Value Plus is only $250. So it's still worth it to do it if it falls within our standard restaurant product. Um, but including all these additional coverages for no additional charge under the preferred restaurant really enhances the product. Right. Um, so then we'll also include the theft coverage at no additional cost as well on the preferred restaurant. And some of the package credits. So the great thing with the preferred restaurant is that if it fits within it, it's going to be eligible for a host of additional credits, whether it's package credits or individual line credits. Um, so we can do a package credit if they uh, combine the policy. So if they have two lines of coverage, we'll offer a 5% credit. If they do all three lines, so property, GL, and liquor liability, we'll offer an additional 10% credit. Um, the cre eligible credits for property are listed here. So if they have a joist and masonry, joist and masonry or better construction, if they have a wet extinguishing system over their cooking equipment. And if you're not familiar with that, there are two different options when it comes to extinguishing systems for cooking equipment. One is a dry system and the other is a wet system. And you might also see these referred to as NFPA 96 compliant or UL 300 compliant. Um, the wet system is better than the dry system. Um, it can just extinguish uh, flames that are at a high, burning at a higher temperature than the dry system. Um, so if they do have the wet system, they're gonna get an additional credit. Um, if it qualifies for special cause of loss under our current guidelines, uh, it'll get an additional credit. If they're the only applicant or the only occupant of the building, and if they have a central station burglar alarm, they will also yield additional credits. And from the general liability side, uh, they will have additional credits for three more years without losses or five or more years without losses. And then if it's a single level establishment, so if the public only has access to one level of the establishment, then they'll get an additional credit. So from the liquor liability side, there are a few more credits. So if they do not have drink specials past 9 p.m., so if they're running a happy hour and it ends by 9 p.m., they'll get a credit. Uh, violation free for the past five years. So some of the typical violations of citations you're gonna see are sale to an underage person, uh, selling past the state mandated time, things along those lines. Uh, they've been claimed free for two years and if they do not have a bouncer, um, that also includes a door person or an ID checker that's standing at the door. Uh, they're all kind of lumped into one. So these are the additional credits from the liquor liability side. Um, so some of the product differentiation from a USLI standpoint, uh, there's no policy or inspection or audit fees. And all of these are across the board with our rest bar restaurant products. Um, so this isn't just preferred restaurant. So there, we never transfer any of the policy inspection or audit fees. Uh, we are an A++ rated carrier and we have a very experienced claims team. We've been in this market for over 30 years now and we have a claims team that is specific for our hospitality team. They are very well versed in it. We can have uh, specified lawyers and expert witnesses that can then help defend our insureds. Another great thing is our business resource center. Anybody who has a policy with USLI has access to our business resource center. And there are a ton of really, really great uh, 
products that are on the Business Resource Center that are typically free of cost. Um, so these include human resource services, background checks, collection services, workers' compensation advice. Um, so certain things like the background checks, you will have to pay uh, you know, per check fee. I believe the first one is free, and then each subsequent one has a nominal fee. Uh, a great thing for the hospitality realm on the Business Resource Center is liquortraining.com. <clears throat> so one of the credits available is credits for being uh, certified in a formal alcohol awareness training program, such as a TIPS or Safe Serve or Ramp. They have a, a ton of different names uh, that they go by. Um, so one thing that we can offer through the Business Resource Center is the certification process for our insureds. And it's only $11 per server, and that'll get them 15% credit on the policy. Uh, so if they go to liquortraining.com, it's $11 per server. The certificate is good for two years, and it is transferable. So a lot of the wait staff will work at multiple restaurants. Uh, so they can use it for all of the, the different establishments that they serve at. And, Joey, just to yep. give everyone an idea, um, isn't typical server training, uh, liquor training, closer to anywhere from $35 to $50 is what I've seen? It can, it can get very expensive. Uh, $11 is extremely cheap for this, uh, and especially since it's all online as well, so you don't have to bring somebody into your establishment and – have them teach a class or send your service to a class somewhere to sit down in the classroom. This is all online. It's very convenient. It only takes maybe an hour or two at the most. And like I said, it's good for two years. So typically the cost, even if the insured wants to pay for their service to do this, the cost for them to pay for their servers is they're still going to make out on the end after getting the 15% credit on top. Yeah, for sure. Um, so some of the different quoting options available, uh, there's an instant phone quote line that you can call that is dedicated specifically for Litchfield Special Risks, and that is 888-845-6078. <coughs> Excuse me. And typically, the phone is answered within four seconds. You're going to have a completed quote in under six minutes. It's typically much, much under that. Uh, firm quote and a pre-filled application is going to be emailed to you within just a couple of minutes of hanging up the phone. Uh, there's 54 products available for phone quoting, and that includes up to about 3,000 classes of business. So you can call up and get a quote very quickly over the phone with one of our underwriters um, very, very quickly, and it's very convenient. And we can, you know, Yes. So if, I, if I can just touch on this sure. um, for our producers that are on today, we the quote to bind ratio on the phone quote is almost 14% higher than if you just do an application. So keep that in mind, folks, because if you can quote, you know, 10 to 14% more business because you're using the phone quote, well worth going down that road. Yeah, it's. Uh... That's, that's a great point, um, and especially since we can walk through some of the eligibility criteria and help, uh, you know, kind of advise some of the different credits that are available, uh, it, it does have a much higher uh, bind ratio than just submitting an application. It's a great point. Um, there's also a online quoting option, so you can quote directly through USLI on Litchfield Special Risks uh, website. So the link is provided there. You can quote that 24 hours a day, of course. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, does anybody have any questions? Nobody has any questions? (laughs) 
I mean, we did we dumped a lot of information. Um, sometimes it takes a little bit to kind of settle in, and then all those questions will start flowing. Um, here's, a, here's a question, um, Joey. What about restaurants that are open for breakfast and dinner with catering in the evening? Would that still fit? Yes, that could definitely still fit. Um, you know, we, we can definitely consider the off-premises catering exposure as well, and that should still fit within um, this product, the preferred product, as long as it meets those uh, original four eligibility criteria. Okay. And um, Dan Montgomery had a question. He said, just give me a sec. <laughs> sure. Yeah, take your time, Dan. I think maybe so, the one finger. Joey, this is Susan. So this is for the preferred, but you guys can write other restaurants that don't qualify here as well, correct? Oh, 100%, yes. Yeah. So we can consider anything from zero to 100% in alcohol sales. Um, you know, we can consider all the new ventures, even if they don't have experience. Um, any type of entertainment we can, we can consider as well. Um, whether it's a you know, band, a DJ, things along those lines, we can typically consider. Um, so just because it might not fit within the preferred product, doesn't mean we can't consider it at all. So I, you know, like I said, I encourage anything with a hospitality exposure, send it on over to Litchfield. And even um, if it doesn't fit within USLI, Litchfield has other markets that they may have a, a better market for. Awesome, and here's Daniel's uh, question. A restaurant that allows customers to bring their own alcohol would need what type of coverage to cover that exposure, if any? Yeah, that's a, that is a fantastic question, Dan. So we see a, a lot of BYOB establishments uh, throughout the country. <coughs> I'm up in the Northeast and they are very popular up here because a liquor license is very hard to get. And if you can get it, it call, depending on the area, it can cost over a million dollars. So BYOBs are a big exposure. They still have an exposure from a liquor liability standpoint. So obviously the, the standard GL and liquor or standard GL and property exposure still exist. But from a liquor liability, I still, I still recommend covering the liquor liability exposure of that. We can do that. It's on a, a non audible minimum premium basis uh, because they're not selling. But since they do have servers there that might be pouring the wine and they're monitoring, uh, they should the, some of the responsibility can fall back onto that establishment if they're drinking on the premises. Does that answer your question? Yes. Okay. Um, and also, um, question about food trucks. Yes, we do food trucks as well. Yes, definitely. Um, I think that's it. There will be a copy of this training on the Litchfield website under the resources page. Um, scroll down to university and it will be on there within 48 hours. Joey, thank you so very much. If anyone has any questions, please, please feel free to email um, Susan, our underwriter at Litchfield, and she'll be able to answer uh, this, your questions quite quickly. Um, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everyone, and thank you for being on today. And Joey, again, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for having me. Happy holidays, everybody. Happy holidays. Bye. Thanks, Joey. Bye-bye.